In this video, we're going over how to pair your Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 to any Android phone. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're gonna to walk you through how to set up your Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 so you can use it with any Android phone, not just a Samsung phone. Um, the first thing you'll need to do, obviously, is take your watch out and make sure it's turned on by holding the button on the top right here. It should take you to this welcome screen. On your Android phone, you're gonna to go to the Play Store and you'll do a search just type in Galaxy Wearable app and download this app right here. It's the Galaxy Wearable app. You're gonna open it and hit start. Once it uh, downloads, it will begin to scan for your watch. It may ask you to turn on uh, some different uh, settings like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So if you get those pop-ups, make sure you turn that on. All right, took a second um, and we had to do a search one more time, but it has found the watch. You wanna make sure that these numbers match. The PLHK, just a unique ID for your watch. Make sure the numbers now match and hit the checkbox to allow access to calls and uh, call history. We're gonna hit pair, tap on the watch to confirm as well. It will ask you to download a second app, which is a Galaxy Watch 4 plugin. So tap OK. And it'll take you to the Play Store to that app and just hit install. And it may give you a third prompt to download another plugin. So just be aware of that. Um, because you're working on a phone that's not a Samsung phone, uh, it needs to install these other plugins to make sure that the watch can effectively communicate with the phone. After it installs, you'll see the button will say uninstall, and now we'll need to go back to the um, Wear app. So just go to your app section and type in Wear to get back to your Galaxy Wearable app. And then it should give us a few more prompts. We're gonna um, sign into our Samsung account. If you don't have a Samsung account, you need to set one up. Uh, a lot of the uh, extra features like uh, Find My Galaxy and uh, backing up your data, uh, it all works through a Samsung account. It is free to set it up and you'll definitely want to have this on your phone because without it, again, you'll be missing some of the key features of the watch. So uh, if you don't have one, um, hit sign in. If you do have one, hit sign in. And this is where um, you can um, set up your account quickly and then um, keep moving through the setup. So if you have one, you'll just sign in. And if you don't, there's an option at the bottom here that says create account. And that's where you can set up your Samsung account. As a disclaimer, once you do sign in, if you already had an account, it will ask you to just verify your account um, from one of your other Galaxy devices. So I just need to come to my other device and it's gonna send a pop-up. And then I use that code to um, just verify that this is my account. I'm gonna hit verify here. If you're setting it up for the first time, then you won't get those pop-ups. This is only if you already had a Samsung account. This is an optional um, box you can check. It uh, allows Samsung to collect diagnostic data from your watch, which helps them improve the service. I tend to not check this option uh, I just hit agree. Anything that says optional, you don't have to select, FYI. We'll hit agree. We're gonna now hit allow. And we should be pretty close to the end. Um, you've got terms and conditions for the watch. Tap allow there. And then these are other Google services um, to turn on as well. Google's terms and conditions. Hit continue. And then at this point, it's gonna finish prepping the watch. Um, for you to use and depending on how fast your connection is this could be really quick or could take a few minutes so just um, You know bear with it and Actually it was pretty fast. So that's great All 
All right, next you need to select your Google account. Um, so just verify it has the right Gmail account for you and then hit continue. If you wanna use a different Google account, just tap on choose another account below here. I'm gonna use this account. Now remember the Watch 4 has new integration with Google and a new layout, so that's why it needs to link together with your Google account. You can also restore from a uh, previous backup if you had another Galaxy Watch. I'm gonna, um, I'll skip it because I wanna see how it sets up brand new. So uh, this is the LTE version, so you do have some options for a mobile plan so that you can use your watch and get all your notifications even if you're not next to your phone. So just to read this, it says start getting a mobile network for your watch, device information, um, and you'll need to transmit the data to your mobile network operator. So we're gonna hit next here. Now I use T-Mobile, so um, I think it'll allow me to actually sign into my account and set up the plan, which is awesome. I'm not gonna do this on the video because um, some of you guys may just have the Wi-Fi version and this may not be relevant, so I'll jump right past this. All right, so process was pretty quick, and now we are at our main home screen, and you are set and ready to go. Just hit start on your watch, and it will give you a cool little tour on how to use the watch. So let's follow it really quick just so you can see the, the basics of navigating. So swipe down to get to our quick panel. We have our different options there. You can swipe up to go back to the main watch face. For apps, swipe up from bottom edge, which is different, so interesting layout, kind of more like an Apple Watch. Now we swipe down to get back to the main watch face. Yeah, this is interesting. Definitely has some Apple-esque features. Swipe uh, right for notification, so that hasn't changed from the previous um, Galaxy watches I've had. You can tap on notifications and you can swipe to the left here to go back. Swipe to the left here to go back to the main watch face. So it doesn't want to read my swipe here. There we go. And now we can swipe left again on, from the home screen to get to our different tiles. Have our home key in the upper right corner. And we're good to go. Awesome, so let's try that now. We can do it um, a little bit smoother, so. Oh, we need to install. So I did end up signing up with a plan um, for T-Mobile. They have a five and $10 a month plan that will give you a dedicated uh, phone number you can make calls and text from, which is cool. Uh, looks like there's a separate plugin you have to download if you want to use that service. So that's there. Again, if you're using the Wi-Fi, that doesn't apply, so don't worry about that. If we look at the app here while that's restarting, you can see um, we have our different watch faces right here. You can use to download or see different watch faces that are available. Some are gonna be free and some are gonna be paid. I always love to use the uh, specific watch faces from Samsung because they tend to just be um, a little more polished. Um, the third party ones tend to be a little clunky. Because it's uh, restarting right now, it isn't connected, but it should automatically connect once it finishes the restart. So this should go away. We have our app screen here. You can um, customize your app screen from uh, this option here. Customize your quick panel and the settings when you swipe down from this menu and you'll have your tiles you can arrange from this section right here. So that's about it guys. Uh, hope this was helpful. Again, wanted to just show that process. If you want to use the Galaxy Watch 4 with a non Samsung phone, it is totally possible. And the process took less than 10 minutes. So. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. 
Take care and as always, have a good one.